All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone to the stream. Uh, we are back here in Planet Zoo where we left off with our African wild dogs, and I can't unpause the game just yet because we haven't set up this exhibit at all. We took a lot longer on this than I expected to last time, so uh, we're going to have to try and uh, get that all sorted out now so that uh, we can we can finish off with this. But we've been starting to work on this really cool kind of area. Uh, cool if I do say so myself. I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. Uh, but this kind of cool underground area where we've got this really cool sort of observatory where we can look in on the African wild dogs. And I'm super excited to branch out into the Africa area here. But I do want to do one thing first, and that's actually to get in our fence area down here. Now, this is going to be a bit of an interesting thing. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to go about this because I kind of... We're going to have to put in walls, I think. I'll, I'll probably just put temp walls in so that we can figure out where we need to put our one-way glass. Um, so, but yeah, we'll figure that out. But welcome everybody to the stream. Also, I do, before we start, I want to say a thank you to Ferox Level, I think, <laughs> uh, who subscribed in between the streams. So thank you to you for that. I don't know if you're here right now, but I much appreciate the support. And hopefully we will see you around in the near future. So I think the first thing I'm going to have to do, which is scary as heck, we just put this barrier in. Um, well, now I'm going to take it out. <laughs> this area here, I'm going to delete. And that's a problem because now the African wild dog exhibit is open. So we've really got to be careful not to unpause. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of clear out this area area if I can. It's going to be a little bit touch and go, a little bit messy in here, and I hope I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm just going to take the breeze block walls for now and start working on those. Hello to everyone. Um, I'm glad you guys think it looks interesting. I'm pretty proud of how it's turning out so far. It's just its own kind of a uh, tricky thing to figure out. All right, I gotta get this lined up properly. So like right there and then down. And then we want to go down again because this is going to be um, kind of our our underground area. So if we figure out, so there's the one. A lot of this is going to be through the um, th kind of through. Okay, are those aligned? They are. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, a lot of this is going to kind of go through. These are not um, kind of through the ground here. So we got to figure out where our floor is meant to go. Oops, uh, which I think our floor is going to be right here. Whoa, okay. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to control, but if we... Okay, what am I... How am I going about this? All right, we got to do that here. That's too far, so right here. So this is where we want the floor of the den to be. Now, what I think I can do is we'll go to pass. We might want to put some lighting in down here, but we want to align to the grid here. And if I go over here, flatten terrain, and we will do square edges for now. So what this should let us do is kind of go, that's because that's going to be on the wrong side, right? All right, no, our path is right here. We're, this is, this is very, very touch and go right now. Um, we're going to kind of outline the edge of the den area if we can get out. We want to make sure we outline that with path so that we know where we're going to be putting our fences. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go like this. And then we very much do want to flatten that down. This is a little bit, a little bit weird if you're just joining in. Uh, wow, and there are quite a lot of people joining in. Uh, hello, everyone who's just coming in. We are going to be building a den area for our African wild dogs. As you can see, we've got one here, but we've got to set up the fence for it. And that's actually going to go right down here. So what I want to do is, hmm, how are we going to go about this? Because I would like these rocks to be kind of the upper wall, but uh, we got to kind of clear this out. I'm going to, I'm going to do push on these here. We're going to have to really build this den area carefully because uh, we want them to be able to get in and out, of course, as well. We need them to be able to access it, uh, but that's kind of what we're working on here is figuring all this out. Um, let's see it. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Okay. Hello to everybody. Um, I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. A uh, little bit 
trying to figure this out. I'm very thoughtful at the moment because I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this. We're probably going to have to kind of indent this whole area because it's going to be hard for them to access this otherwise is my concern. Um, school, uh, getting a bunch of schoolwork done is good. That's right, school is starting up again after the uh, break, I assume. Uh, hopefully you got a break for, for Christmas and such. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in some barriers here. Oh no, I'm sorry that your biggest pup is sick in Wolf Quest. That's, oh, I'm hope, hope, hopefully, hopefully all will go all right with that because that's, oh boy, that's, yeah, the illness system is, is something for sure. All right, now I want to look at what is going to dilapidate slowly and what the wild dogs actually need. What is the minimum grade resistance we need? So at least, at least two, um, we gotta look at that. We want something that's going to decay or dilapidate slowly. That's moderate. So we have the corrugated. We have chain link. Electric, oh my goodness. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing. Thick glass, okay, maybe we wanna do thick glass here and see if we can make that. See, see if maybe we can make that, um, if I, so if we go across here, I kind of want this to be curved. Wait, maybe not, well, no, maybe we'll keep it, maybe we'll keep it straight pieces. Um, can I snap alongside paths? No, I think I can snap paths to, um, paths to perimeter like this, I think is what I can do. So what we gotta do is figure out how long this section is, a little bit longer than that even. I think it's 16 probably, but that's too far, oops. Um, if we go right here, I'm gonna actually scooch this as much into the corner as we possibly can. Um, and then I'm gonna hold off on this for a minute because I want to scooch this one as well. Try to get this as close as we can because we're gonna build it into the, um, okay, we're gonna try to build it into the wall basically, kind of, if we can. All right, if we go here, I think this is the closest we can get it. Let's make sure we've got this one the closest we can get it as well, so that it'll hopefully blend right with the wall. And then I'm not going to angle snap this. I want, oh no, it's not gonna let us though. We're gonna have to move this after. If we do that, that'll help. But if I move this, you can see how close, oop, how close into the corner we can get it. Um, I will check chat again in a minute here. I was kind of starting to go through that. So let me see. Um, but I think as we're working on this, that's pretty close. That's gonna work pretty well, I think. Let's go ahead, Oop. is this just dragging the one piece? Yes, okay. All right, we want to get this as close as we reasonably can, which I think will be right, right about here, probably. All right. Um, you have eight weeks of holiday, nice, nice. That's, that's, that's very fun for sure. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you got an ad, thank you for watching the ad. That does help support the channel. I do get get paid for the ads that run on here. So if you are watching an ad, that does support the J Plays channel, and I much appreciate that. So thank you guys. Um, I gotta turn this to. We can't even do one way glass, can we? Nope, because it's already normal glass. All right, so maybe what we'll do instead is we'll do wood logs, and then we'll add one way glass. Uh, actually, I want one-way glass, and I want it, yes, this is actually right, okay, so yeah, so what I'm doing here, hopefully it's more obvious what I'm doing now, you can see we'll have this kind of den area where the wild dogs can come down and sleep, and uh, you can see because it's one-way glass, there won't be any privacy issues with that. Uh, but the guests can still get a nice up-close look. You'll see sometimes something like that in real zoos, actually. Um, you will see things like that occasionally, and that's kind of what I'm trying to emulate here. I'm just hoping that we can make sure, if I now come back to here, if we go to Edit Barrier. Oh, it did include that, nice. So it would let me link up with that, but if I bring this up here, kind of bring this into the area, uh, kind of match that up with that, then what I hope I can do is bring this a little closer. Oops, I want to make sure that we get it nice and lined up because I have to extend it into the wall here. Oops, whoa, hello. That's not quite what I want. I want it just about like that, probably. And um, then what I want to do is actually take from here, I want to go null barrier, and I want to match that up here. Hopefully that works. And then we want to match up on this side 
we want to make sure we edit this and kind of bring this even a little closer into the wall area. We'll kind of extend that here so that uh, you can connect it up there and then we'll go again, do exactly what we did before. Go to Null Barrier and then we'll go up here. Oops, Terrain to an even for placement, great. Um, all right, let's connect, or let's disconnect that then. See if this lets us, no. All right, it's the null barriers. The hard thing about null barriers is that they work the same way as normal barriers. So um, that makes it exceptionally tricky. All right, train to uneven though. This is really gonna be tough then. All right, uh, how do you place paths under the ground? So what I actually did was, uh, if you missed it at the very beginning of the stream, I am recording this good. So I went and I went to construction. So I have this uh, one up here. I went and I started placing, you can see actually I left one of the walls in here. How am I gonna get that out? Is that just eternally stuck here if I go to enter group edit? Can I remove this? Oh, I can get that. Okay, so I actually have that and then I just extended it down and then I snapped the path to it and it kind of carved out this place that you can barely see for the path. So that's how I started doing it this time and made sure it was aligned with everything. It's not the only way of doing it, but it is one of them. However, I'm now having trouble getting it to link up to the other paths. Um, if I go to edit barrier though, maybe I can, if I move this out, maybe we can finagle it so that it works. If I go to null barrier, can I link up with the, oh, I can't necessarily. Let's do this and then can we link up here? No, darn it, all right, never mind. Um, heck, how am I gonna go about this? I think I have to smooth out the terrain under here and then we'll cover it with rocks, I think is what, what's happening. So I go to terrain, we do push, and we kind of make this a little bit flatter and we smooth this out. Um, oh, maybe it needs, you know what I might need to do is it might need to run over here. And that's how, that's, um, if I run over here, how do we do this? I'm trying to figure it out. If I move this like this, oops, train to even, uneven for placement. Maybe if we if we slowly wind our way over here, how? Where is it even trying to place? I can barely see what it's doing. Oh, I. It might be. Oops. It might be. Hmm. It might be running into issues with. If I could, okay. If I go like this. Darn it! All right. Hold on. I don't know why. Oops, if I go here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello? Stop that. Uh, the barriers are very fidgety. Oops, no, I want to select, edit the barrier. All right, if I go like this. Nope, it won't actually let me. How am I meant to do this? <laughs> Um, all right, so let's see. So what I'm doing is we're working on our African wild dog exhibit, which is a little bit iffy because we have the wild dog in the exhibit. We're just finishing building the barriers. Um, oh, you watch, you usually watch my cattails videos while you play, that's fun. That's a series that I did a while ago. Uh, it's been a good bit since I played cattails, but definitely a very fun game. Um, if I go like this, maybe this will help start to make it smoother so that, uh, Oh, I, it might be having trouble because it's locked due to the paths up here. Maybe that's what it's objecting to. We can always, if we have to extend this down a little bit, like if we have to make this whole upper area a little bit lower, we can kind of branch it. Nope, that's not really what I want of you. We can kind of branch it out if we need to. Like we can have some variation here. I'm sorry, I'm jumping back and forth between topics to trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um, if I move the- no, I want to edit the barrier. I always forget how to do this. Uh, it just takes some fidgeting sometimes. Does that work yet? I don't think so. Oh, what it's see- you know what it's seeing? I think it's seeing this little area here. Um, and that's the area- oh, we might have to delete this path, right? If I do this, uh, not quite like that. I want that, and then we'll put the path back. Um, and if I do that, there we go. So now maybe I can do it. Now, possibly. If I come back and edit the barrier. We do this. And we go over here. And we bring null barriers. I think it's... Oh, uh, hmm. This is a tough one. 
right, hold on. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, yeah, we're building a viewable den area for the African wild dogs. Oh, you rejected two cats from your clan. Oh, no. Um, oh, I'm glad your puppy, I'm glad your, your wolf quest puppy recovered. Um, you caught a black firefly. Yeah, those are pretty rare. Yeah, Finangle is just, like, trying to get something to work. <laughs> um, we're kind of fidgeting with it and having a hard time with that. Oh, no, your coyote, a coyote got one of your wolf pups. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we certainly are well acquainted with the, uh, coyote frustrations. Um, yeah. Yeah, coyotes and wolf quests, they're not, not too fun. Not, uh, not exactly pleasant to have to deal with. Um, they are very, very much a threat to wolf puppies in the, in wolf quest. Let's see. Um, yeah, so you, also, if you're seeing, I see some people are using the custom Moobot commands. Hopefully those are helpful. That kind of tells you how you can do certain things in the, um, in the game here when it comes to stuff like name submission and, and the like. So let's go ahead. We'll edit the barrier. And I think if I, no, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to move this. All right, if I go, why? But why though? All right, maybe this whole area is broken and I need to redo it from here. I'm gonna go like this. This is, I'm just gonna fidget with this until something works and we will figure it out from there. Uh, if I go like this, please. Why? Why no worky? Hello? Hello? Oh, that worked. That worked? Did we get it? We got it. We got it. Okay, we got it. We got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, now I have to smooth this back out is the problem. And it may not let me. Oh, it's not gonna let me, so I have to undo that, that barrier linkage. Now we can do that. Now I think I can edit this. And come down here. I'm gonna move this back, actually. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna smooth the terrain again. If we work like this, maybe it, it will it'll function better. Um, oh no, I want the barrier again. Edit barrier. I'm going, I'm just kind of tweaking with it right now. Come on. Something like this should be fine. All right, terrain. If we smooth this out, that works, I think. And if I bring this back, I think we got it, guys. I think we've got it. I want to move this. I want to do this. And if I go to Null Barrier, can I link? Oh, come on! No! Why, though? Why? Oh, I think I see why. All right. Um, let's try and smooth this back out. I think that might help. So if I go back to barriers, when we finally get it, it's going to be a grand moment. All right, if we go here, did we get it? We got it. Oh my gosh, we got it. Okay, so we finally got it all linked back up. That worked. All right. So I'm going to actually move the terrain. I'm going to smooth this back out a little bit. We're going to, we're going to have, it's going to be kind of nasty there for a little bit, but so we'll be able to figure that out. I'm going to actually kind of lower the middle of this exhibit, I think, because we're going to want the, um, the wild dog exhibit here to not be so, like, we're, we're going to want the, the entrance to the den to not be so drastic as it was. I think this will help that if we kind of step it a little bit. And if I kind of bring this up, we can bring slowly kind of make it more gradual. There we go. Like this. Kind of grab it here. We can kind of do that. And I kind of just tend to do this and then smooth it. And usually that works. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. I think we actually got it. We don't necessarily, like, we can have the wall be a little bit steeper in some spots. We just have to have an area for them to go down into it, which is what I'm concerned. So, um, all right, let's see. Oh, yeah, uh, we, yeah, thank you again. I do want to say thank you again to Fear, uh, Fearox Level. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I apologize. If you've watched Planet Zoo before, you know I suck at names. <laughs> I do apologize for that, but I much appreciate you subbing. I know you, you were offline. We are not in stream when you did it, but I much appreciate the support. Um, to submit names, yeah, okay, so uh, Moobot posts the commands from time to time. If you want to submit names, Moobot had perfect timing, right? You're almost as if it was answering your question, but it has some commands on how you can do that. Uh, if you don't have enough channel points now, just sticking around in stream, you'll be able to earn more. So if you hang out for a bit, eventually you'll be able to submit a name. 
Um, if you've been here for a while, you may already be able to do that, but uh, it's when people when people stick around for a little bit, then eventually they're able to smith them. All right, uh, you got the notification that's going like, oh, I'm glad you dropped everything to come here. Thank you for thank you for jumping in. I much appreciate it. We're working on an African wild dog exhibit in Planet Zoo, and I'm actually pretty proud of how it's turning out. So so far so good. Uh, now what I do want to do, we gotta we'll have to unpause briefly. Uh, it's still. I wish the smooth was a little bit better because it's still kind of lumpy bumpy and I'm not I don't like the lumpiness I wish it was a little bit I wish you could kind of I wish the smooth fixed that a little bit more because when you zoom out it looks really really lumpy <laughs> to me uh, but it is what it is I guess um let's see yeah subterranean and what we're what's cool about this right here is that this is one-way glass so this will be the African wild dogs den but when you come in here you can actually see right through it so it's one of those really cool up close with the animal things that you'll see in some zoos um, hey guys welcome to the stream we are building a den for African wild dogs um, yeah so the command is to help you understand how to do it so that uh, it's it's an easy easily accessible so that you can see what's going on basically um, hey thank you for submitting a name uh, you think if you make the brush bigger, it should make it look less bumpy? We could certainly try. Alright, let's try the smooth. I've got it on a very small size. Maybe it will help, but I don't know for sure if I make it really big. Ah, uh, it helps a little bit. It does help a little bit, maybe. It's still kind of bumpy, though, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead. We do not want the flattened brush to be this big. I just am going to kind of make another step here. And we'll smooth that out eventually, too. Yeah, you think the train will look better once you add some decorations? That's probably true as well. It won't be quite so barren, and the different uh, ground types and the decorations we add might may help with that too. Um, when you reach the rendezvous side, the pups are so lanky. <laughs> yeah, the pups the pups are lanky boys for sure, lanky boys and girls. Um, in uh, in Wolf Quest Three, when you first get to the rendezvous site, so. I'm going to do something really, really fast here. Yeah, I do see your name submit. Um, I do, I do see. Um, oh, I should have access to them if you've sent them in, and we also have a tracker for that, so I will be checking for names. Um, Rain also helps keep track of that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead. So we have Iadel right here. Uh, Iadel. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say Iadel. I'm sorry if that's wrong. I can't pronounce words that I have not seen first. So I'm gonna unpause briefly, which is going to create some problems, but it's also going to tell us if we have some solutions because it, it needs to recalculate the habitat. So if we click here, you can see traversable area. Actually, maybe it did not. Oh, it did. Okay. So if we go down here, you can see there is a point where you can walk out, which is fine. Uh, that's not going to be staying there. This is just the way the terrain is. What I wanted to make sure is that this area is navigable, which it is. She can go down into the den area if she so desires, and that'll bring her right up and clo right up close with the guests, which is awesome. So uh, this area, it doesn't matter that it's escapable at the moment because we're actually going to fill that up with rocks and stuff now. I gotta figure out. I don't think we have too many wall types yet, so I think we gotta do breeze block again probably but I'm gonna put some of that in and that will help to prevent the wild dogs from escaping we will just bring this back eventually we'll extend that even further but uh, we'll also be putting some rocks in on the other side of this wall and that will help as well so we want to extend this all the way up all the way up to can I put it in it's it's like really hard to actually get it to work there we go got one that, that, that'll work enough, I think. Um, but we've got that kind of set up. Now what I want to do is need... Is there like... Well, there's columns. I want... I, what I want it to do is... Maybe I can still put in the glass. The glass wall like this. I bet it'll still look okay, right? It'll still look pretty okay, I think. We're not going to be able to see it really from the outside... But from the inside, it'll look it'll look fine, I think. Okay, do this. Might need to put some kind of column in the corner here, unless we do it. Well, no, because we did it the way that made sense, like this. That works. And then that'll be wall as well. 
So that, that works, I think. You really can't see behind it too well, but this is the area that's really important to be able to see out of. Um, we're gonna be continuing to work on this area as well, because eventually, and some of you guys have already asked me about this, eventually I do wanna add other animals into this, uh, not into this exhibit, but we'll have, you can see how it kind of extends around where we're gonna have more to this observatory sort of place. So uh, a lot of you guys were asking about potentially lions. We do wanna add lions soon. This is, after all, the African exhibit. So we are gonna be putting some of them in at some point, but for now we're mostly focused on the African wild dog exhibit. Um, yeah, Rain keeps track of everything. We have spreadsheets, so when we go to do names and stuff, I'll keep uh, keep checked up on that from period uh, periodically. So if you guys are submitting stuff, Rain has got it covered. We'll make sure we can go back and it, uh, for channel point submissions. They're also retained by Twitch, and uh, we're making sure we snag any that come in from bits as well. So I want uh, this is desert, desert and grassland. I think it is. We have to go to the rocks. Yeah, I think these are, these are savanna rocks, right? They are. Okay, so we go to nature and look at the savanna rocks. That's a red desert. Here's savanna. We will also put some of these in and kind of cover up this area. And what we'll be doing with that, this will keep the wild dogs from escaping here. And so we don't have to worry about that, at least. We can put some of this down. We want to make sure we got a lot of floaty rocks now, so we want to make sure that we are blending those into the ground again, uh, so that they are not just floating. Um, let's do that. That worked. We can go using uncommon rock types that I'm not used to working with. Uh, usually I use different ones. That one's kind of a weirdly shaped one. I don't Something like this may work, just like, oops, where? Just like here, maybe? No, I don't, I don't know, I don't like what I'm doing with this right now. I'm gonna fidget with the rock a little bit. Something like this may work, actually. Yeah, something like that'll work. And then we can maybe put, well, no, maybe it doesn't. I'm going to be particular. I can be particular with this. I don't know why... If we just bring it up like this, that should work, actually. Yeah, that should work. That'll be fine, I think. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream, everybody who's new, by the way. Uh, we are just working on the African Wild Dog exhibit and uh, getting that set up. So I'm gonna go ahead. I, I'm using the same rock, hopefully, in a way that will not look like I'm using the same rock too much uh, to kind of create this cliff area that um, the wild dogs will be able to go into this area down here and the guests can get a nice up close look at them. This is gonna be kind of the den uh, area where they can go to get shelter. And um, that will be pretty decent, I think, for the guests. I think the guests will really enjoy that once we've got that in. It's just taking a little bit of work to get there. I know we've been uh, working on this for a little while. The builds in Planet Zoo, take a good bit, which is a lot of the reason why I wanted to move this to a live stream series, because then it's fun, because I can talk to you guys while I'm working. So, let's see. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad that my pronunciation sounds okay. I always, I always feel worried, because these are real names, and like, it sucks to have your name mispronounced, so I, I don't, I, I'm just really bad at this. I would feel really bad if there was somebody who actually had that name and I was saying it wrong, so I, I'm always very insecure about it. I, I swear it's not, I'm not trying to say anything about you having a weird name. I'm just really bad at pronouncing things that I haven't ever heard pronounced. I can say something, what, if I've heard it, I can say it. But with a, most of these names, I have not heard them pronounced. And so I have a hard time figuring out the pronunciation of, and it's not just names. Like I have a hard time figuring out the pronunciation of stuff sometimes when um, I haven't heard it spoken out loud. Or I'm gonna use some of this cladding to kind of create the roof surface here and then we will round it out in a little bit. I just kind of want to get the shelter area. Um, I want to make sure this counts as hard shelter because I think what that would be would be stuff that's not just open to the um, to the elements. So hopefully this will count as hard shelter and we'll be able to do that but I will make it look more naturalistic soon. It's gonna be a very big cave area that we can see into. All right, um, let's see. 
All right. Um, you're waiting for one wolf quest to implement the ability for the pups to faceplant when they run. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that that would be quite funny. Puppies do tend to do that. Puppies are they will they sometimes trip over themselves, and uh, that's uh, you know part of part of uh, learning the whole coordination thing, especially when you're when you're at that lanky age. <laughs> it can be easy to trip over your own feet. Alright, let's see. Yep, African wild dog escape plants have once again been foiled. As always, as always, can't, uh, can't have our wild dogs escaping on us. Gotta make sure that uh, the escape plans do not succeed. But I think we're getting there. So this is, we'll bring, we'll bring the roof down a little bit as well. I just am gonna texture it a little bit more in a minute. I think... If we go over here... With some random sprinkler sound effects included. Can kind of make this a little bit more of a of a shape here. And I'll start kind of shaping this out. I, I like so I like starting with the larger rocks when I do this, and then slowly kind of blocking it down to the smaller ones. Um so that I can kind of get the basic shapes in place and then from there kind of expand off of it. So if we've got that in, that's kind of starting to be the beginnings of it. Let's go ahead, we'll hit play briefly again. And then that should give it time to recalculate. We can go back to the heat map, traversable area, can go down. Oh, how are you able to get up here? That's a problem. Um, I assume some of these areas, because we don't want the African wild dogs getting up here. Um, Hmm, yeah, because we can't block that off, really. We don't want it to be that traversable. I guess what we can do to avoid that is make sure that this area, because I think this is where it's saying the wild dogs are able to get up, is, like, is to make sure that this is really blocked off. So even if the wild dogs can get close on the other side, they can't climb up here like this. All right, let's try again. That should hopefully help. They might still be able to get up, but hopefully less able to get up. Okay, good, that's no longer a traversable area, which means they can't get up to the point where they can get out. So that's exactly what we want. They can kind of come down on some of these ledges, which is kind of cool though. That's what we want to see with this. We go down here, uh, we look at terrain. A hard shelter is 100%, which is sweet. Uh, let's go to habitat, we will place in, uh, We'll place in some of this straw-based bedding, I think. I wish we could get a little bit better lighting, but because of the way this is set up, we can't. We're not gonna be able to see. Oh, it, it might give us a little. We'll make sure this area is very well, um, very well covered, I think. And uh, we'll go this way. All right, we do this then this should be a very good sleeping area for the wild dogs. Make sure that they have some nice area here. I think we want to maybe edge this a little closer and do this. There we go. And the reason we have to have both the fence and the, um, the glass is because if we... Um, oh, and this rock needs to scooch back just a little bit. But the reason that we have both the... Uh, the glass and the fence is because we need the one-way glass to prevent the privacy drop. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Uh, that's what I'm doing with this. All right, let's see. Um, all right, that's a very, very interesting take on uh, some possible storylines for Wolf Quest as well. We shall have to see, but I like that idea, Rain. We shall have to see what comes of it. Uh, and of course we do still have two litters left, so who knows what stories will come out of that. But uh, that is certainly a very fascinating take, and we may have to uh, may have to see what comes of it. Perhaps. Uh, wild African, wild, African wild dog escape plan is indeed back on. Um, it, it is indeed. Yeah, don't forget about the water. Uh, we may put some water somewhere in this exhibit, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we will do like lakes, lake style something or another, or if we will have more of a just normal uh, water dish area. 
Uh, so I don't know how we're going to do that just yet. I kind of want this one maybe instead. No, maybe I lie. Maybe I do want a big one. Go like this. That should work. Come over here. Can I do this? That works. Maybe put this one in the corner. Alright, we just gotta make sure that they're not able to climb out the top again, but I don't think they should be able to. Now, I'm going to extend the uh, cladded area here just a little bit, um, so that we kind of have this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, this will be like the top of the rock section, pretty much. And I'll kind of bring this along here, and then we'll start... Um, I just want to make sure this is totally solid, basically. Then we will start kind of covering it. And what I want to make sure we do is that we get some of these rocks in. We don't want the escape plans, of course, <laughs> so we gotta be careful of that. But we do want to build up kind of cautiously here. And I think, oh, I'm glad that I'm not in the group right now. It just occurred to me that would be very bad if I was uh, still selected on the group, uh, but I don't think I am, so that's good. We can go ahead and put this here. This should be a nice little border area. And um, let's go here. All right. I'm going to start to kind of build some of this up. We'll kind of work with some of these slopes possibly, like try to get kind of the slope of the roof to build. I, uh, It's bothering me that I can see the barrier. I get why that's the case, but I don't really want to see it at the moment. There's other times when I do, but at, at this particular moment in time, I'm kind of wishing I didn't was not seeing the barrier. Um, it is distracting. Let's go ahead and we will put, we'll put this, and we'll go ahead and we'll kind of just bring this slowly downward is the idea. Um, kind of try to keep the shape of it as cohesive as we can. We want to make it look like actual rocks, basically. I'm going to put, no, I can't put that one. That's a little too big, but we can put this and kind of start to bring that down. And I'll put another savannah rock. We can kind of put this one here, maybe. And I might have to bring back a little bit up this way. Should be able to put, I'm just trying to sprinkle different types out a little bit. I think we're getting there though. We are, we're starting to make some good headway and uh, starting to be able to kind of blend all of this together. We can do this like that this maybe there we go also hello and welcome to everybody who's new to the stream we are just putting in some rocks in our african wild dog exhibit and finishing off the top of the den area here which i'm excited for because we have a really cool i'll show it in a minute we have, have something that i think is really cool uh a way for the guests to get nice and up close and personal with the african wild dogs by coming down here you can see hopefully it'll brighten up in a minute you can see we actually got some nice one-way glass here so that from the guest perspective they have a really nice clear view out into the exhibit but from the wild dogs perspective to them it may as well be like there's a wall there so we have a nice area that'll still let the guests get up and close and personal with them but uh, without compromising their privacy which is super important because we don't want them to uh to start to get stressed because they don't have anywhere they feel like they can hide. Uh, but we don't want them to totally disappear off the face of the earth whenever the guests want to see them either. So it's a balancing act, as it always is. Let's go over here. Bum, bum, bum. We put the rock up here. And kind of, we'll connect it kind of like, oh, that works almost perfectly. Yeah, I really like that. All right. Let's see, uh, what would you make sure, what would you recommend doing when you're making your own habitats like inspiration? You can look at real world zoos. Um, I say that, I don't actually do that. I, my, my, my process for this is very sporadic, but I kind of just try to think about the kinds of things that I've seen in zoos. So like a lot of them will have a, a habitat where you can get up close and personal with the uh, inhabitants like this, where you can see um, into the area, some of them will have that. 
and uh, so I'm kind of trying to think of, oh, what have I seen in real zoos? Could I do that here in Planet Zoo? That's usually the sort of way that I approach it, but I don't necessarily have like a, a set methodology. A lot of it is also just me going, what, what seems like it would be cool and can I do it? <laughs> um, so I'm not, I'm not as organized in that regard as um, it may be helpful, I'm afraid. But uh, that's kind of the process that I try to approach it from, is how can I, how can I make this look the, the best? And uh, with, the, with the rocks especially, too, you want to make sure you're getting really organic shapes, if you can. Like, you, want it, you don't want it to look too... You want, it, you want to try to have variation, because it's natural. Um, they are rocks, they're not man... Well, even if they're, they are man-placed, but you want to try to make it look like it wasn't, I guess. So I start, I try to play with a lot of shapes that still make sense, I hope, but um, that will look a little bit more naturalistic whenever possible. So let's go ahead, we'll put this, and I try to kind of, depending on the way I'm doing cliffs, I try to kind of slope them a little bit, I guess. So like I'll have kind of these sorts of steps coming down a little bit is uh, kind of ha one of the things I will do. You'll see me repeating that a lot in my designs um, with the rocks. And kind of bringing it, just bringing it like this. The, you have to be careful though if you do that because sometimes the animals can climb it and that can be bad news. <laughs> uh, we've foiled a few African wild dog escape plots in this episode already. Uh, but uh, we have managed to find and foil them. So we'll want to check the habitat, see how this is doing. I think we've got that looking a little bit better, though. Let's see how it looks from the inside, too. If we look at this, we're gonna have this, in fact, I will go ahead and add that now. We're gonna have this corner kind of walled off. If I go to, not facilities, I wanna go to construction. Um, oh, you have to go to sorry, or you have to go to sleep. No worries, no worries. Uh, no need to be sorry. Uh, get some get, get some good rest, and uh, the videos will remain here on Twitch, even after they're not live anymore. Uh, they will remain on Twitch for about two weeks, and they go up on YouTube after a week. And in fact, I probably need to make sure that I put those up properly, because I might be a little bit behind. <laughs> you made us already growl at the puppy so I could take the fawn and eat it. No! Oh no! That's not good! Oh my goodness, yeah. Sometimes the, the Wolf Quest mates are a little bit... Uh, they can be a little, little bit rude. I know Remus, Remus isn't, he was a little rude at times. He'd always try, you always had to make sure you grab the food before he did if he meant to bring it back because he would, uh, he would yoink it and then we wouldn't have puppy food. Nice job, Remus. <laughs> um, pick a mate, he usually says pick one with a good temperament. Yeah, that's one reason that you might want to, uh, I don't know what trait that would be, maybe one that's a little bit less bold. Um, because they, the bold ones can be a little bit of a handful at times, and so can bold puppies for for sure. All right, what I want to do too is I want to look at. I'm actually going to remove some of these rocks in favor of putting in some that are a little bit more that are not overlapping onto the path. Basically, I guess um, I want to make it a little bit more like even. I guess sort of like with the border of the path. And uh, we want to kind of try to bring that this way, not so they're not overhanging quite so much. They can overhang. I mean, the guests, the guests clip through things more than you would expect, um, guests and staff alike. But it doesn't look as good, in my opinion, when they're doing that. So the only time I really try to take advantage of the clipping is with with doors most of the time. Um, we also probably might want to add some sort of some construction at the top to, so that it doesn't look like the guests can just waltz right into the exhibit. So I'm actually going to go to construction here. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your enjoy your food. Go enjoy your dinner. Thank you for coming. And I hope you enjoyed it while you were while you were here. All right. Uh, if you do this. Uh, I might want one that's a little bit taller, possibly. No, I want it. Oh, eh. eh. Alright, if we go. If I go like this. That works. Okay. We can kind of run this along here. And then it won't look so much like the, um. The guests could just plop right into the exhibit, I guess. Uh, we will go ahead and do that. 
And then what I think I'll do also is add and add one opaque wall up at the top. Yeah, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. And maybe what I'll try and do, exit the group. The group is getting a little bit wild and out of, uh, out of hand here, but if I select this one and I make it tall, and maybe if we scooch it a little bit so that it lines up, uh-oh. Yeah, if we scooch it a little so that it lines up, that's probably pretty good, right? Yeah, that, that'll look good, I think. We do want to maybe move this a little bit. Advance, move, or rotate. We can twist that so that it's not... That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do either. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll rotate like this. And then we want to maybe scooch it further back into the exhibit. Not that I mind it coming through a little bit. I... Mm, I messed that up. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and we will do this, I think. We'll scooch it back a little bit. I don't mind it poking out of the wall a little. I just don't want it overlapping the path the way it was. When we go back to habitat, we or not habitat, nature, and come down here, we can place in another little small one that can go right here. All right, we got it, got it, got it, I think. And maybe I will scooch this, oops, I want to scooch this a little bit again. I think, though, we're doing pretty well. We're getting pretty, pretty good at... Okay, if I, if I do that, that should look fine, right? Okay. Now, let's take a look at the current setup with that, because I want to make sure that the wild dog can't escape again. we got to foil any, any African wild dog escape plans, as always. Let's go ahead and we'll look at the heat map here. Oh, no. Um, how are you getting up? I am guessing you are getting up right here. Interesting. All right, so we just gotta make that area a little bit more bulky and uh, maybe maybe drop some rocks in over here. Maybe put a bigger rock like this to make sure that the African wild dogs can't get up so easily. You can put a little bit of a smaller one here just to kind of make a bit more of an actual wall. They actually they weren't able to actually get out, I don't think, necessarily, because we have... So you can see where we've got those... Um, well, they just went away now. But you could see the edge of the null barriers, and it actually wasn't a full escape, but they could get past the null barriers was the problem. All right, let's do that. Oh, no. How are they still getting up? Okay, so maybe it wasn't right there. Oh, well, no. Maybe it is, because it shouldn't be over here, should it? No, I wouldn't think so. I think the way is probably here. And it looks like maybe this... Ah, we gotta, we gotta make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna plunk a very big rock down. And uh, try and block this all the way off. I don't mind if they climb a little bit. I just don't want them climbing to the point where they can escape, I guess. So we do that. And then bring it down a little bit more. That should block them, right? All right, you had your first litter of seven and wolf quest and jumping from five to seven is a big adjustment. No kidding, no kidding. Very much so. There we go, we fixed it. All right, now they can no longer escape. Yeah, that is a huge adjustment though. I wish you luck. Hopefully hopefully that all goes well for you uh, because that is quite the challenge. Uh, the new disease feature is in full effect. Oh no, yeah, you lost several puppies to, to sickness. That's frustrating. Yeah, sickness is one of the more difficult things I've found to deal with in Wolf Quest. Um, free range, wait, free range parenting. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Yeah, if you guys are if you guys are chatting, no worries, y'all y'all good as long as you're not being spammy and staying mostly on topic. I don't don't mind if we talk a little bit about the other series and the other games involved, uh, just because you know we do play those. So ye. Uh, Scouty, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, um, but ye, so far so good. I think we do it all right. I looks like, I just, I think we're almost done with this, but I do want to do, because I'm going to be building a little bit more, I do want to do like one last check just to ensure that we're not going to have anybody, uh, anybody sneaking out or jumping at places they're not supposed to be. So I just want to make sure some of these lower ones, it's not bad if they can jump onto, it's just bad if they can jump all the way to the upper ones. It, that's when we start to uh, have problems, that's when things start to become bad news. So if they can jump onto some of this, it's not bad, but we want to make sure they can't jump all the way up. 
I'm going to put a little bit more, actually. I already exited it out of that, but I can bring it back. We'll put just another little slope right here, I think. And then maybe a little slope right here to try and kind of even this. That works, I think. We'll put some plants along there as well. I am going to put a little bit up on the top, too, just because we've got kind of a sharp drop here. I'll put one there. And I'll put a little bit up here, kind of a slower slope, just like that. And I think that'll be all right. Yeah, that should be fine. So let's go ahead and hit play one more time. And then we'll look here. We have a lot of money finally, which is good. Okay, so yeah, they can jump up some places, but nowhere that they can escape. Perfect. That is just about what we want to see. So I think we've actually got this area pretty well situated. If we come down here, it should lighten a little bit. Very, very bright outside. I like how it has kind of the eyes adjusting effect. It's very, very cool. Oh, we've got kind of a, a bare spot in this wall that I'm seeing now. Let's go ahead and we'll fill that. Oops. No? Hello? Please don't, please don't do things like that. Don't, don't do me like that. All right. Ooh, whew. Trying to get this in the right spot is going to be a little bit tricky, huh? All right. Something like that will work. Just make it a little bit of a more organic bottom to the exhibit here. Hello? Where is, where is, where are my, um, my rocks going? All right, they're going over here apparently. And, um, I think I wanted to kind of situate this down here. That shouldn't impact anything negatively though. Now, I want to look at what else we need. We definitely need more enrichment. Terrain, let, so the terrain setup is really bad. Let's start working on some of that. So there needs to be more short grass. There's way too much long grass. There needs to be more soil. So a lot of the soil we can fix, because we'll put some soil down here. We may put water, we may have a water area, because this is a very large exhibit. Uh, let's do some heavy soil. We'll do a lot of that down here. Because, of course, this is the den area and it's also kind of underground, so you can expect that maybe it wouldn't be so uh, heavily heavily grass. Uh, we'll kind of add some short grass, too. Alright, we're getting better. We're getting better. We do need more soil, though. Um, hmm, maybe we will add a little bit of a pond. A little, little bit of a pond could be nice. Let's go ahead and we'll do this. I'm going to flatten the foundation. We'll do something right here. We want to make sure we've got enough of a border that it doesn't become a problem flowing down into the den area. So I want to make sure we get this, keep that up. We will uh, kind of slope this a little bit more. I'll bring up the intensity on that though so that it slopes even more than it is. And maybe even do kind of a midway step. As long as the water is not going to completely fill the den is my concern. We have enough trouble with flooded dens on Wolf Quest. We don't need flooded uh, flooded dens here in Planet Zoo. Obstructed? Hello? Hello? Oh, maybe it's talking about bees? I don't, I don't actually know what it's talking about. I'm going to go back and do water? Obstructed? Why are you obstructed? the heck? Oh, it's, okay, so it is trying to fill the whole thing. Alright, um, I want to make sure we got that. Make sure we got this. Let's smooth some of this out. That should make it a little bit better. We don't want the whole thing to fill. I think this will help. So let's go ahead and we'll add a little water, and then I don't think we should- okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, I don't think we should have as many issues then with the, um, like I don't think we'll necessarily have to put in a, a water pump anywhere. I think we'll be okay, probably. Alright, let's see. How many wild dogs are we thinking of putting into this exhibit? I believe the maximum it can hold was like five or six we determined, uh, and I'd like to have at least a few. I'd like to have at least a breeding pair and then, um, maybe a few others as well. So probably probably four to five at least. All right, let's see. Um, I think it's our range said maybe four. Um, I can't remember exactly what we determined. Let's take a look at how big the exhibit is. So it is about 6,000 land area. Wow, that's a very big water area as well. Uh, 6,000 land area and these guys each need 1,000 so or 1,100. So about we could we could have probably five uh, maximum it looks like so four or five is probably gonna be good I'm gonna go ahead and we will actually edit 
uh, we want to edit this barrier. Let's go up here. We'll bring this up. I just am kind of smoothing the transition there so that as it comes down from the upper area, it's a little bit smoother. But uh, we're get we're getting there. I think I'm actually not uh, not too displeased with the how this is turning out as a whole. I, I rather like it. Uh, we'll get some nice area for the guests to be able to see the wild dogs in the water too if they want to play around in there. All right. So how are you doing? You're gonna need more enrichment for sure. Still too much. Okay, not enough soil. That was part of what I wanted to do with the um, the area here. I want to add more soil in this area, as it, especially as it looks like it's um, maybe a more more traveled area, I would imagine. We'll do that. Kind of add some of that in. Kind of maybe add some more along here, too. I just really want to make sure that uh, it all makes sense. Kind of, we're going to be filling in that back area, too, uh, with more rocks. We still have too much long grass, though, so I'm going to try and shorten some of that, kind of make it a little bit more of a short grass exhibit. We don't want there to be no long grass, but we do want to uh, definitely lessen it, and I think we've actually got our terrain sorted out now, it looks like. It does indeed. We're going to have to make sure we well heat this, too. So the plant type, we don't want there to be too much coverage, but it looks like grassland and desert. So I'm going to go with grassland and I'm going to go with uh, continent Africa. And let's look at, maybe we'll try and put one big tree in. We could have a big baobab tree somewhere. These are, these are very large trees or cantalabra trees are smaller. If there's any that are really huge, which I think is mostly just the baobab, we very much want to take advantage of that here because we're not going to have too many exhibits where we can actually have the, um, the coverage like that. This is a huge exhibit, so we want to actually make sure that we are able to do that if we're going to have any of these trees. could also put in some of the umbrella thorn acacias. Those are always a classic for the African savanna. And we have... We don't want to cover it too much. Uh, I think we've got too many baobabs, probably. We do this, and we do, we could have a few umbrella thorns. We could have some, uh, I don't like the leany one quite as much, I think. Put one here, and put one, oop, didn't want to put, whoa, kind of, kind of lagged on me a little bit. So that works, I think. We don't want to completely block the view, but I think we've still got enough places Maybe we'll just have the one baobab tree, I think. We might might move that here. I'm having a hard time working in the tree cover, I think. Uh, let's try and go over here. Uh, I don't like the tree cover we've got. We just maybe want to have a very little amount. Oh no, I'm sorry that your wolf quest meat keeps stealing the food for the pups. Sometimes they're not all that... Um, they're not all that understanding of, uh, of, of, of doing the, um, of need, needing to, needing to feed the puppies sometimes. They're a little bit, um, sometimes a little bit, uh, they don't, they don't quite get it. They don't, they don't quite get it all, all the time. Um, for an acacia maybe we'll do. I'm putting some back here because I kind of want to mask where the exhibit entrance is, by the way. It's just kind of a matter of figuring out... Maybe we'll put one here. And maybe we'll put one here. I'm just trying to figure out... We can put more Rula tree in as well, perhaps. We want there to be large open areas, I think, is what the issue is. Um, we've got some nettles. I might put some nettles up here, uh, kind of along the edge. We might want to remove some of the long grass up here. Put some nettles up as if they're kind of coming out of the cracks in the rocks uh, just to kind of create a little bit of differentiation I think so let's go up here and if we do a little bit we've got papyrus papyrus would be closer to the water wouldn't it maybe I think it might maybe we'll put some papyrus over back in this corner a little bit all right, yeah, aquatic, aquatic. Okay, so it'd probably be in the water even if it's if it's tagged as aquatic. I want to have just a little bit of that over here, maybe a little bit on the other side too, just a few bits of that. Put some of that there. Kind of put some of this in. 
River bush willow. These are aquatic as well, so we want this right by the water. And marula. These are climbable, but I don't think we have to worry about that with the African wild dogs. African daisies, though, we might want to put some of them up here too, just to kind of add some differentiation again. Uh, it's all about wanting to make these things look not samey all over the place, pretty much. We want to make sure that there's a little bit of extra interest in some of these areas, and this is a really good way of, of going about that. Let me do that. Elephant grass, we might want to put some of those in the corner. I also like to use elephant grass to hide things. So when you've got a staff gate, putting in some elephant grass in the back can be very good for that. Um, kind of go ahead and put some of this here. We'll make it a little bit shorter. And that can kind of um, kind of mask some of it. Yee, plant time is fun. Plant time is fun. Uh, you always used to say tree instead of three. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, I always, I, I had some, I used to, well, I, I'm not able to say I used to mispronounce words. This is Planet Zoo. You guys know. <laughs> you know that's a darn lie. I still mispronounce words. But yeah, I had, had some classic words. I always used to say breakfast instead of breakfast. <laughs> And that lasted for a while, too, because I didn't know I was doing it, and finally someone pointed out to me, I was like, well, heck, <laughs> didn't know I was doing that, and now I'm, now I'm very cognizant of my own mispronunciations, um, and then I was embarrassed, <laughs> which there's really no need to be, it happens, but yeah, um, it do be that way. Let's kind of, we'll, we'll, we'll bring down some of the tall grass in the overall area. Plant time is definitely quite fun. Um, I'm trying to make it all come together. Actually, I need to have my wild dog selected though, because we want to make sure that we're not covering it too much. I don't think we will with just like plants and stuff, but uh, with, with, with like the smaller ones, I mean, but we do want to make sure we're a little bit cautious. Now it is a grassland, so we do want to make sure we have some grass. Uh, maybe we'll put in some nettle around here too. I want to make sure we kind of get just just a nice little um, some nice nice little nice little grass grassy kind of areas. Because if there's stuff some popping out of the rocks too, put a few nettles in like that. Maybe even some African daisies, just as if there's like little patches where maybe the soil is clinging and um, there's some uh, some plants peeking out of them, sort of. Uh, maybe you can even put... that's a very big elephant grass stand. Mm, elephant grass is going to be too difficult to work in here, I think. But maybe some of it along these edges might work. That's a very huge stand of it, though. Elephant grass is tall. They call it. I think they call it elephant grass because that it probably is the. There, there's grass that's tall enough to hide an elephant in, and I assume that's what elephant grass is. I assume that that they're referring to this stuff, which is very, very large grass. Um, we used to have. Oh gosh, what was it that we had at the old house? It was pompous grass. I think it was. Um, we used to have pompous grass, and it was so insane. Like. I, we, ha we don't have it at our current house, it was pretty little at the old one, but like I remember my, my dad fighting with the pompous grass because it was so out of control. Um, and I don't know if that's at all connected to any of this, but I just remember it was a very, very big thing of grass and it was very, very tough to deal with. Uh, it was always out of control. I'm gonna, well, we'll put some plants here instead. You know, we're not gonna, we won't hide the, um, this little incline, we'll, we'll hide the incline with plants more. Um, let's see, let's go up here. Can I put this right here? A eh, smaller bunch of it, I think. Maybe. Maybe a little bit taller too, so that we can actually see the leaves. And we could put, if there's like a really small tree, these are aquatic. Let's see if there's, well, that's not a small tree. You know what? That looks nice though. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. I think we're getting there, you guys. I think we're starting to have it look. You know, I should turn on angle snapping because these um, art position snap rotation align to surface. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yes, because we're having a harder time with these not uh, looking so great. These smaller ones not lining up quite right. Go ahead and put some of that in. There we go. 
kind of line some of this up. Kind of put some of that up here. That'll look even more so, more nice, I think. Put some of these in. Put a little bit of these African daisies in. There we go. I think we're getting there. We're getting there. It's looking pretty good, I think. We're starting to get there. All right. Um, hello, welcome back to the stream. Yeah, getting rid of the grass on the path is very, very satisfying. Uh, I always, you know, it always looks good when it, look, it looks good when you get rid of the random grass. You watch an actual zookeeper when he streams Planet Zoo and he's American, listening to him try and pronounce words that are German, Dutch, or Afrikaans is always the highlight of my day. Yeah, I know that's kind of the reputation that Americans get, uh, and it definitely does hold true. I, I assume that it, it kind of probably goes for every culture, that it's it's hard to pronounce words that are not from your native language. I think that may kind of just be the way of things, but I know Americans definitely get a reputation for just absolutely messing it up <laughs> really badly, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I, I kind of contribute to that because I very much do, the, do that. I, I am part of the stereotype in that. Um, you're upset so the snow leopards too. Oh, we, I do want to add some snow leopards to the zoo potentially at some point. Uh, they are very, very cool cats. And yeah, quite, quite, quite literally cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, so at some point I would love to add some, uh, some snow leopards. Uh, hello? I don't know how I... Oh, I bet that's what the rotation snapping is. I get it, I get it. I was like, what? Why? When did that start being a thing? That's probably what that is, I would assume. Um, all right, let's see. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh oh, echo. Oh no! If you have, yeah, if you have, if you have a migraine, that's uh, that definitely um, definitely get some rest. I get migraines too, and they suck. <laughs> uh, they're not fun. So if you have a migraine, rest up and uh, stay stay off the computer if you need to um, if you need to recover. Sometimes that uh, that can help it for me uh, as well. Oh, common reeds. Are these? These are aquatic. We can put some of these over more close to the water. Um, but yeah, definitely rest up if you have a migraine. I'm sorry you have one because that's uh, that's never fun. I have dealt with that before. Um, and I always worry that'll happen on a stream day, and it probably will sometime. So <laughs> if that happens, I'm sorry. Uh, health issues kind of suck sometimes. Um, position snap rotation. I think that... No? Hello? Why did I... Oh, it's... I turned on angle snap. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, that's what that is. Alright. Kind of put some reeds over here. Can put some African daisies too. Can kind of put some of those there. N some nettles. Where did the nettles go? Nettles are here. Put some of these over here. We want especially them to be near where the guests are because it, it looks nice, you know, and it kind of feels like something that you would see. Now, hmm. I don't think that's too sparse because we've still got a lot of good area that the guests can see. Uh, we got some tall grass too. I think that's probably pretty good. Um, yeah, let's see. I, we're, ha we're happy you're here. Don't worry about coming late. We're happy you're here nonetheless. Um, it's, we're glad you can make it during the stream time. So, let me see here. Um, ah, no worries. Thank, thank you for joining, even if you have to head out. Uh, no, no worries. We're glad you can be here. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with chat and think, and that doesn't necessarily work at the same time. I apologize. Should add some plants to the top of the viewing area. Ooh, like, uh, uh the top of the viewing area, like... Like this view, or uh, oh, up here, I think you mean. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna do that at some point. I don't wanna do that just yet because we're gonna actually build like an upper part to the observatory too, and we haven't done that yet. But I definitely do. We could even add some over here as well. And why did that, why is this fence so janky? Oh my gosh. Why did I build it like this? This is, I regret some of the decisions that I've made. This fence is very janky, and I don't really like that. Um, we want to make sure that's a little bit of a smoother top. Here we go. Kind of smooth that out a bit. Uh, we could add some plants here as well, possibly. Um, let's see. You hope your name gives you. If you've submitted, if you've submitted a name through the bits or by being a sub or by submitting a name with channel points, it will get used eventually, provided it's appropriate and everything. Which I don't think we should have too many problems with. Hopefully, uh, it will get used eventually. It's just a question of when. So let's see. Um, 
Oh no! <laughs> Your dog ran into the door screen. Oh my goodness, poor baby. What was it? It wasn't... Well, my brother ran into the glass door one time. <laughs> but uh, my dog usually didn't... But she did, she did, no, she did intentionally instead of, she knew how to open the glass door, but she also took out the screen doors and she jumped into it at full speed because she saw something outside and the door just went. <laughs> uh, my dog is a German Shepherd, so she was bigger, bigger girl, very much bigger girl than a Chihuahua. I don't know if a Chihuahua could quite, uh, quite have that much power, but uh, yeah, she just decided she wanted to go outside and the screen door was in her way, so she just knocked it right open and completely off its, off its track. <laughs> And our screen door had a bent in it for like four years because of that. So thanks, Sierra. <laughs> uh, she was quite the crazy dog sometimes. Uh, you think it's more because English native speakers don't have many of the sounds? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I know I tried to learn a little bit of Russian at one point and I can't roll my R's, so I just had like a permanent speech impediment in Russian because I can't roll my R's. I can only go to, I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. It just no work for me. Uh, I don't, I think I lack the muscle to be able to do that. Honestly, I lack the, the tongue muscle perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible or not, if that's how it works, but that's how it feels. It feels like I, I just can't get it to function. Um, can you make waterfalls? You kind of can, kind of not. I. Like, so there's, what it looks like it is, we go to construction, I think? Special effects. Somewhere in here, so somewhere in here there are special effects waterfalls, so you can build these in. It's not quite, so like you have to use the special effects to be able to get that, um, but uh, you can kind of make them make bad choices in games. Sometimes in games. I sometimes do make bad choices in games. Uh, did we put a waterfall? I think we ended up not putting one. Yeah, we didn't end up putting one in the Giant River Otter exhibit, but until I realized we needed more water, that was the original intention. I, I did want to do that. Um, your dog knows you how to open doors. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, oh gosh. Sometimes dogs can be way too smart for their own good. Um, sometimes they do be. Now I think if we look at our if you we look at our area here, we've got that pretty good. Now what I want to do before because I've never I've never been smart enough to do this beforehand. I'm gonna do it smart. I'm gonna be smart this time. Um, there is somewhere. Okay, where's the heater? Um, if we look at the heater, we're gonna put some of those in. What is the temperature the African wild dogs need? 16 to 40. So if it gets down below that, they're going to have problems. I want to make sure that we get this in now so that uh, I wish you could. Well, I guess it makes sense that you can't have square heaters, but I kind of wish you could. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we will add some of these in. Hopefully we are spacing them out properly. I'll probably try to hide some of them too. Um, that's going into the tree. All right. But that'll help if there is an issue with, um, if there's an issue with the snow every once in a while, it's not common, but it snows in the game. So we want to make sure that, uh, that area, that, that, that it doesn't get too cold. We've had issues with that. It's probably not going to cover it perfectly, but, uh, it'll help at least. All right, let's see. Uh, try speaking French. You can speak English and French. That's really, really cool, actually. Uh, I don't know how to speak French, though. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure. I know how to speak a little Spanish, but I'm not uh, not great at it. Uh, one of the Africans sound is a rolling R2. You can't do it either. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah, I, I sympathize for sure. Um, oh, my goodness. The, yeah, I'm calm, but the chat's going insane. Yeah, it's not the craziest I've seen it, but chat is uh, quite active at the moment. So th thank you all for chatting, and thank you to anyone who's lurking, too. Uh, what, we're just, we're glad you're here, whether you're, you're chatting or not. It is fun to be able to participate, but even if you're quiet, don't worry. Uh, if you're just here to vibe, then that's totally chill as well. So I think, actually, I'm going to look at, da, 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 I want to look for the African wild dog. Uh, if you find them here, and we want to give them probably a large food tray. I'm going to put that over here so that um, the guests should be able to see them. Oh, we might want to smooth that out a little bit. I'm going to put the food trays here so that uh, they're visible. And um, we'll go ahead and smooth some of this out. 
they should be reachable, but I want to make sure that we get some enrichment as well. There's a blood scent marker. We'll go ahead and put that over here. And hopefully they'll go check that out. Did that delete one of my plants? No, it didn't. I'm going to put it back. Um, we'll put one over here as well. Kind of encourage them to come over here where the guests hopefully can see them. Uh, we could put an ice ball enrichment somewhere around here. Let's put that. Maybe we'll put that up here. Basically, I want to keep the enrichment somewhere that the uh, guests will be able to see them when they're playing with it effectively. Um, cardboard box. We can go ahead and put cardboard box. Uh, there's... Near where I near where I am, I live near like a big cat center, one of those big cat sanctuary kind of places, and they always they'll they'll give them fun stuff like a box or stuff, and even the big cats enjoy boxes. They like shredding them and things, <laughs> so I can imagine that uh, the African wild dogs might appreciate that too. What what am I even putting down? I was looking at a thing, and I don't remember what I'm looking at now. Um, I think it was a small ball, colorful maybe that I was putting down. Go ahead and put that in. I think it'll bounce, hopefully. Hope, or it was, oh, it's a dog ball that I was putting in. You can put that right over here. Hopefully they float, because that's always fun. I like having water toys. There's, oh, there's a, uh, like a, it's got like a, a bag of, it looks like scent marked stuff. We can go ahead and put that here too. We'll put that kind of near the, um, near the, the food there. And what else can we put in? Because I think we've got a lot of toy enrichment. Do we have much food enrichment? Um, if we look at our filters, no, it's not going to tell us, nope, that's not going to tell us. Let's see, bamboo feeder, oh, we could do a bamboo feeder maybe. Um, what? I think we might have to research more to get a lot of that, but let's go ahead and see how our African wild dog is doing on enrichment. So if we look at, uh, we might have to hit play again briefly. So it recalculates 100%. So we look here, terrain should be good, environment is good. What is this? Plants and, oh, this, so none of these are bad, I think. It looks like everything there is doing fine. Um, lots of enrichment here. Wow, lots and lots of enrichment. And we should be able, okay, we want we want to add more, more pack mates soon. And I think if I recall correctly, we actually have another African wild dog that I think we put into quarantine if I'm not mistaken, so let's go check on that because I think we're ready to unleash her on the world and see what the guests have to say. Uh, I'm gonna continue to work on getting the guests to be able to access the downstairs area though because we want them to be able to see in from there. Let's see, oh, I wanna select the quarantine. Um, could have sworn that we had another African wild dog. Not that. Um, animal storage. Oh yeah. Uh, Alanyan here. Um, now, let's see. Uh, I guess maybe we haven't moved to quarantine, but we'll have to see, or we're in the process of doing that, and Rudo as well, but Rudo's genetics were not optimal. So, let's see. Uh, don't worry if you're not able to, to be here quite as often. We're glad that you're here now, and uh, if you do want to pop in, I'm, <laughs> I'll be certainly glad to see you again. But uh, if you can't make it, you can always find these videos here on Twitch afterwards, and they'll stay up on, for well, for two weeks on Twitch, and they'll stay up permanently on the J Place channel to, or the J Place 2 channel after that. I can't heck and speak right now. I apologize. Um, they'll stay up permanently after that. So even if you miss a stream, don't worry. You can always come back and catch it later. Um... Yeah, oh wow, you're, and you're gonna be, oh my goodness, you're going completely off grid, you, that's actually really, wow, uh, that's gonna be very, that sounds very interesting, I, I wish you guys luck with that, um, wow, I hope that goes well for you guys, certainly, certainly, uh, I've heard of it, but I don't know too terribly much about how all that works, um, Oh my goodness, your cat! Oh no, your cat crushed your game! Yeah, Shadow always, my, my mom always has to shove Shadow out of her face while she's using the computer because Shadow, when she wants pets, will just stand on the table and be like, pet me. Um, and sometimes she'll just get right up in the way. Alright, let's see. Two squares down from the infinity symbol is the enrichment. I'm assuming made on habitat. Um, oh, yeah, 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 filtering here. We can fil we can filter it to enrichment. Does that give us different... No, it doesn't give us different themes, so you can't really filter between um, the types of enrichment, food enrichment, and toy enrichment, but you can at least uh, make it only the enrichment items. All right, it is coming together. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, okay. Oh, 
Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, a reclimable too. Okay, I just didn't see that. Thank you for that. I didn't. I didn't look at that even when I clicked it just now and missed the missed the menu right next to it. Uh, you know, a cool suggestion. If your money gets in the negative, the developer is hire a robber to steal all of your life. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We've spent, we're thankfully no longer in the negative money we were uh, a few streams back, but now we're actually doing really, really, really well. You can never speak, don't worry about it. I feel that very much. I feel that very much. I'm a YouTuber and a streamer and I cannot hecking talk most of the time. Uh, cats are weird and stubborn sometimes. Uh, I love them, but they can be, they can certainly be some interesting creatures <laughs> at times. They're great, but... Um, they can also be very persistent. They can be very persistent. All right, we could put, let's put some donation boxes in because of course those are always important to have. Want to make sure that, um, oh, and the research is complete. Uh, now I think we'll check to see if our wild dog went to quarantine properly soon, but I don't know. All right, we want to, let's, let's make sure that happens before we get an inspector visit. And I'm going to work on building the staircase down and we'll take a look at that. So where is, I wanted to look, I wanna go back to zoo, or animal trading, sorry. Um, if not, uh, I wanna look at the ones that we have. And we've got, okay, we did move to quarantine, it looks like. I'm also gonna send Rudo, uh, because Rudo, even if, um, let's go ahead and move, nope, hello, there we go. Even if Rudo doesn't have the greatest genetics, he will boost the pack size and that can still be beneficial. That's still something that the wild dogs will appreciate, even if he's not gonna be the breeding male. Um, we can still have him there and just make sure that we keep him from breeding. So uh, let's see. Uh, your cat, your, um, I assume you mean your cat stands at the top of the stairs and screams until you give him food. <laughs> yeah, Shadow will also yell when she wants things. If something is to her displeasure or she is uh, wanting something, she yells until she gets it. Uh, she yells if she wants attention. She yells. <laughs> she just, she screams. This is just how she, how she do. Uh, we want to make sure mechanic comes every three months. All right, let's go ahead and we will move our African wild dog to uh, Olia. Alanion is um, our one who will be the breeding male. Let's go ahead and get him moved in. Do we have, I think we might have names for the African wild dog range. Do you have any names for the African wild dogs on the spreadsheet? Because we may go ahead and assign some of those to our, our first animals here uh, if we have those. I'll check on that. There are a few. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. I will look at this and see what names we've got. If you have submitted a name, thank you, and we'll see which ones we want to use. We have two males and a female, I think. Uh, I will try to probably name the breeding pair, if anything. Oh, she's swimming, too! Look at her swimming! Um, I'll try to name the breeding pair, if anything. I'm glad we put the pond in now. <laughs> because uh, I don't know if Rudo will be moving in and out, depending on if we keep any babies, or if we switch the breeding pair to being uh, some of the younger animals. Are you doing okay? I think she can- I assume she can swim. I assume she can get out. She looks like she's sinking, and that scares me. No, she's fine. Is she okay? Are you able to get out? I'm... am concerned. You can navigate out, right? Yeah, she's fine. She's just getting stuck in the mud a little bit. <laughs> Alright, she's doing okay. Oh, oh, hello? Hello? Oh, they joined- okay, so I think they made a pack, it looks like. Um, okay, so they- no bond has been forged yet. Okay. So we might have to be kind of careful of that, but I'll see if we have names for these two. Uh, and we'll see. Alright. I uh, will take a look at the names because Rain has been keeping track. Thank you for doing that. Okay, we do have a few. All right. Um, it looks like we've got a couple of those. So I'll go ahead and uh, check on that. I will redeem the one that was submitted with channel points. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and change some of these names. So, if I look here, I was having to navigate to step behind the scenes, pardon me for half a moment. Um, let's see. Alright, and I do see, yeah, I did get, uh, I know, is it Ocelli or Ocelli? Or, yeah, I assume Ocelli. Um, I do see your name, uh, and we do have that on the list, I think. Indeed, uh, indeed, indeed. Alright. Um... 
let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to use, so we got two ones for African Wild Dog specifically. I'm going to go ahead and use those. Uh, I, so the way I'm going to run this is I will, um, I will probably prioritize names that are specifically for a certain animal uh, first. If you have a, if you have a less specific one, then I'll go ahead and implement those. So like we have a few that are, are, are for, for example, for canines. So if you have a canine name, I might use that for African wild dogs in the future. If we have one that we're going to be keeping, we don't have names queued up, but, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, maybe also use it. Maybe we'd use it for a dingo instead. We might have a dingo exhibit at some point here. I'd like to add them. Uh, in the near future, we'll see. Right now we're in Africa, not Australia, but this could easily branch into that kind of climate a little ways down the road. So for example, with stuff like that, that's kind of how I'm gonna do it. So the more specific you are, the more likely your name will be used first if we have those animals, but also you may have to wait longer because we may not have those animals right away. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we have, it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and, and change our male's name to Bengal and um, our female's name to Cookie. So Bengal and Cookie will be the uh, breeding pair of our African wild dogs. And uh, we'll go ahead and add those in. And I see Rain is uh, keeping track of all that. So thank you for uh, thank you for helping me handle that. And those will be our, our first breeding pair of African wild dogs. So they'll be staying in the zoo until uh, either they end up dying or retiring probably. Uh, if we have a new breeding pair, that might be the case, but because it's African wild dogs, we might be able to introduce them now. We don't want to leave Rudo in quarantine. I'm going to send him back to the trade center for now because I want to ensure before we add him that he'll be the beta animal because it would be really bad if these guys... Like, it, it'd be bad if, if she doesn't... It, these two are kind of the optimal pair, I think, for uh, being our breeding pair. So I want them to have the chance. You can see here, no no bond yet. Uh, so we want them to have the chance to bond with each other uh, so that they are... So that for sure they end up being the alpha pair and uh, the ones that are going to want to be the breeding animals are going to be the ones that have the good genetics. So um, she, might, she did go through the floor a little bit. Um, she, she did go a little bit, uh, through, a little bit through the floor. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, if, if you have, if you're having problems, you can go ahead and, uh, refresh. Oh no, the, the name things are out of stock. Oh, it might be, it might be for the stream if we've already had enough submissions. I may have capped that. I can't remember if I did that. If not, you'll have the chance to submit in the next, uh, next stream. I can't remember if I capped it for Planet Zoo. I'm kind of experimenting around with that a little bit because I don't want us to get inundated and have too many names to reasonably get through. So if I did put a cap in, that's why. Uh, but it, it depends on how fast we're going through names compared to how fast we're introducing animals. Um, but if it is capped, don't worry, you'll be able to do that at the start of the next stream. All right, let's see. Uh, what animal are we planning to bring next? Well, this is the African exhibit, so we may end up introducing... A lot of you guys have been asking for lions, and I do have some names for lions, so I'm contemplating putting in lions next. Uh, let's go ahead... So our, our rustic path is here. I'm going to go ahead and look at this. And I think what I'm going to do is we'll try... I want to find kind of our middle area. I think... I, our middle area is probably right here, right? Like, this would be it, I think. So if I go... How do I do this? If I go... I want to go down. No, I don't want to go all the way down. Here, I want to... Here, deselect grid, maybe. No, I'm, things are things are going whack. Things are going whack. Hold on. All right. Um, I think I do want it to be aligned to the grid. I'm going to try to figure this out. Pardon me. I'm trying to remember how to get the path to go down. So if I go here, if I go, not like that. Um, I think I have to have it. I do have it on flat and terrain. I do have it on tunneling. That's not it. Um, how do I do? <laughs> There's a way to do this. I'm pretty sure. And I do not remember what it is. Um, all right. Did that work? No, that did not work. I'm trying to figure out how to get it to go down by one. Let's see. Um, oh, it's oh, it still works. Okay, it's it's just an out of stock bug. So go ahead and reload then. 
Um, giant. Oh wait, did we miss? Did we miss a notification? Is, are the giant otters finally gonna have babies? Hold on. Oh, she is. She is. Oh my goodness. After after quite a long time of, of waiting for that, she finally is gonna have babies. Let's go. Let's go see the giant otters. I just I had missed that. I was so focused on trying to get the paths in. Uh, let's go visit the giant otters and uh, take a look at uh, at them and their babies. Uh, well, the babies aren't here yet, but hopefully they will have babies soon, and we'll be able to uh, continue our giant otter line and. Um, our, uh, our, our genetics there. Okay, uh-oh. Um, that's no, that's no good. All right, let's see. Uh, offspring due in October, so that's not gonna be that long, but here's Sylvia. Okay, so I, I have to go attend to things then. Um, hello. This is... Oh, are we... We're running out of... Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we do have a lot, so we might need more more cleaning staff perhaps more what do they do they call the maintenance no maintenance is not what i'm looking mechanic is not what i'm looking for hello oh we've got vet research giant otter and nyala oh yeah we should look at our nyalas too or no they already had their baby last time uh caretaker caretaker is what they call them i was i was forgetting the name let's go ahead and hire we'll hire a couple of them i think go ahead and hit play and uh, i think i'm gonna assign one to the front gate right and oops that's a guest one to front gate left and in fact i will go ahead and get another one for the front gate reptile house uh as well or reptile and i guess is it reptile and no it's no it's it's reptile reptile and amphibian i guess because <laughs> we have um we have that all right so we don't have anything over here yet that needs to be worried about uh, too much. Maybe, oh, you know what I can do? You know what I can do is I can go down here. Um, yeah, it's Rain who has, has been wanting names for lions. Indeed, indeed. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's very dark in here. It is very heckin' dark in here. My goodness. Okay, so I was gonna say maybe coming up from below would work better. Um, oh, giant otter. Oh, that's really, that's really cool. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. Uh, you posted the French word for I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it, but that is very cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for pointing out that notification. I should check on... Alright, um... Oh, yep, yeah, that's what I was saying. I should check on the frogs, because the frogs have had more babies. <laughs> Alright, now I think if we look at the animals, Fadil... Let's go ahead, we'll look at genetics. Overall, not the greatest. Let's move you to the Trade Center. And I wanna make sure these guys, okay. Oh, we are we are gonna have more snake babies soon. But let's go back to the exhibit trade and exhibit animal storage. I think if we look uh, much better, so we're gonna go ahead and just quick trade the, um, the frog that we got here. Oops, there we go, and there we go. So we have our, our giant frogs that we'll try and uh, put in soon. Try using stairs and force them to go down. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out how to do. I can't remember how to get it to work. Um, press J. Stairs and slopes sadly don't work on the grid. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, oh, boy. Well, hopefully we're still... You know, you know what I can do, though? Oh, hey, I have an idea, actually. If I go to paths... Um, oh, Sylvia's about to have her babies. Okay, we are gonna go check at that then. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, she looks very proud of herself. She does. She should be. She should be. I'm excited for you guys to ha finally have your babies. We'll have to see what they're like. And hopefully they have good genetics too. Again, the zoo is kind of also a breeding program, so we're trying for good genetics with any of the babies that we get. Oh my gosh. It's a baby otter. Is it just one? Just one. Oh my goodness. What is what is the little nose though? The little nose is like... Here, I, I want to see the baby. I want to see the baby. Hold on. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's a that okay. That's really cute. <laughs> I know I get I know I give the otters a hard time for looking a little bit scary, but that is one cute baby. Oh my goodness, um, baby baby. Yes, baby giant otter is very very cute. Parents are intimidating. I'm sure you will be a very intimidating otter someday too. But you are very adorable as well. And I didn't even look at the name or anything. I just zoomed very much in. So Alina, okay. Alina is our otter. I don't know how your genetics are. It looks like maybe not the greatest. Dark brown, dense fur, and white throat markings. Oh, is that different than any of the parents? All right, no, that's the same as Sylvia. Okay, so it just looks a little different on the babies. If we compare mates, what are we actually looking for with this pairing? So 
actually, fertility and, and immunity can be maximum, but the other ones are going to be around 50, um, around, around, yeah, around 50% for size and longevity. So let's see how Alina compares to that. Did she go underwater? I bet she did. Oh, yep. Uh, nope. Yep, there she is. No, that's Pablo. All right, I have lost the otter baby. Oh, there's the otter baby. Okay, uh, and I cannot click the otter baby. I'm clicking everything but the otter baby. So if we look at her genetics, uh, not the greatest fertility, so we may or may not keep her, but uh, definitely not terrible genetics overall. Uh, the overall, actually pretty decent. <laughs> the giant otters are still pretty rare, so there's not super great stat ones yet uh, that we were able to find. So that's actually pretty good and a very, very cute child. Um... Let's see, what else are we gonna do? We're actually gonna be wrapping up the stream. Oh, the inspector has left, what do we get? Overall pretty good, what was wrong with the Cayman exhibit? Though, uh, we got, hey, we bred a new habitat animal too. Hey, there we go, and we gave a handshake already, I think. Um, uh-oh, Keeper cannot, oh, Keeper can rot reach habitat. Oh boy, so we gotta deal with that before that's a problem. Okay, so work zone setup. So this is when we go to set up a new work zone, pardon me. Um, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, what am I doing? I'm looking at work zones. All right, so we want underground staff complex. So we already have a work zone complex here, so we can go ahead and just add that. But we do need to add a staff, z a staff zone. Now I wanna look, because I think what we could probably do is we might be able to add one kind of in this corner. Um, or kind of over here, maybe. Actually, I bet we could add one right here. So if we go to construction, we can definitely afford it to put a large staff room in now. We want to make sure that we have some that are uh, some people that are specifically assigned to that. All right, where is this? Nope, that's small. And I want to look at heat maps, negative impact on guests. So if I put it down below, I want to add it to this group. If I put it down here. Let's see, where where is it trying to go? It's trying to go up on top, ain't it? All right, let's, let's get it rotated properly first. So we want it to face this way. I go here, and we bring it all the way down. Oh, not all the way, all the way down, though. Ah, ha, 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 I am causing problems. Oh my goodness, all right, so let's go here. We do that. Unsuitable terrain. All right, so that's not gonna work. Um, if we try to put it down here, maybe, we might be able to put it under the stairs. We'll look over here. And again, I am, uh, I am, I'm sorry for the whack perspective on this. Alright, um, we might need to move it over one, though. No! Alright, hold on. We gotta get it in the right spot. So if we put it, like, why won't you work, though? Alright, if we put it, like, right here... This should be where we can put it. Alright, there we go. Go down here. I'm trying to get this lined up properly. Go here. Oh, we got it, we got it. Okay, good, we got it. Alright, so that should not... I'm gonna zoom way out. That should not have a negative impact on guests. I want to see the heat map. There's nowhere that should have a negative impact on the guests, so that's good. Let's now exit out of the heat map. We are on the top. It's going to take a little bit to get down to the right spot, but if we go here, where is this? Where did the door end up? I think the door ended up over here. So if I uh, delete this, delete this, we look here, it's right here. All right, let's try and do that. Um, sounding like a sped up recorder player. Okay, yeah, you try refreshing. It sounds like that is not something everybody is experiencing. I don't see an issue on my end. So it may, um, it may be on yours. Okay, hold on. Terrain modification failed. Don't flatten terrain. Try... Uh-oh. Might have an issue with this, though. All right, I'm going to actually remove... I have to clear that out is the problem. Let's go ahead. We will edit this. Go in here. Go in here. Oh, I, I didn't clear. Okay, I want to remove that because I need to flatten this foundation more. We need to flatten that here so that we can go ahead and now we can place in the staff room, I think. I go down here, right here. I want to add it to this group. Hold on. We're going to have to try and fight it again, ain't we? All right, if we go right here, we go all the way down. I go in here. And we go right here. That should work, right? I think so. Nope, it's still too far up. If we go... Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting this for a good bit, guys, so pardon me. 
sometimes the planet zoo snapping doesn't always work. I want you to go right there. Perfect. All right, now we gotta go down. So I had it up one too far, I think is what the issue was. Oops. All right, if we go here, that should be right. And then if we go, no, I can't, I still can't I can do it though. Let's go align to grid. Um, I want this, no, align to grid. I want this to be the grid. We can't do it. Okay, I got it. Gosh, why is this so difficult? All right, we need to uh, snap like this. Go to paths, align to grid, selecting grid. No, I want to... Will you let me do the thing? All right, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do the thing or not. All right. If I align to grid like this. There we go. That worked. All right, now if we do facilities. Now can we add this? Possibly. I want to add it to this group, and we're going to have to bring it down again. As I, once again, it's not in the right spot. I will check chat in a minute. I'm just fighting this building. Um, pardon me. Alright, if I go like this, and then I go down. Yes, I can do that. Alright, oops, I want to go down here. Go this way. Oops, I'm still up in the wrong spot, though, is the problem. Now if we go over here. Hello? Oh, it was, like, way underground. Okay. Unsuitable terrain? What the heck, though? Alright, I'm gonna put that there. I'm going to go ahead and we will undo the path. We will unpath this. Now I'm gonna go move. And I'm gonna have to do it again. And... Let me down, please. Let me go... Let me get down here. Unsuitable terrain? What the heck, though? Why? Why do you like this? Okay, maybe we don't put it right there then. Maybe we put it someplace else. I'm tired of fighting that, so we're gonna try to find someplace else we can put this. Maybe... Can we just, like... I put it, like, right here. Let's move. Let's rotate. I think we can... I th don't think it necessarily has to align with the walls, but if we do this, maybe this will work better. I'm gonna be fighting this for forever. All right, oops, nope, nope, stop, stop. There we go. <laughs> All right, hold on now. There we go. If we clear out this, clear out this. We've got that. Let's go to align to grid. Can do this. Can do this. Oh my goodness, we lost a lot of the path. My gosh. All right. Wow, it just like yeeted half of the path, huh? All right, now if we go here, that can actually access it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now we gotta put some of these walls back in. <laughs> fight, 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 oh my goodness. Um, you might have to head out. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm glad you could join us for a bit, but I'm sorry that it's broken, that's not good. We're gonna be wrapping up pretty, pretty soon here anyway. I gotta head out at four, so uh, not too much longer anyway. You're not missing a whole, a whole lot, uh, but hopefully it'll work better for you the next time. And uh, again, thank you for uh, subscribing. That does help the channel quite a lot. <laughs> so let me go ahead. That's breeze block. Put this here. Oops. There we go. And there we go. All right. Um, oh yeah, there, there are going to be axolotls coming to Minecraft. That is, and it is a very exciting thing indeed. I'm curious to curious to see how that's all going to end up. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll make sure that we put... Oh, we put the wall up already. Uh, you hate the pathing system with a passion, for real, though. The the path system can kind of be your worst enemy in this, it seems like. Uh, let's go ahead. Oops, that's concrete wall. I go right here. I can just yeet in there. Then we should be able to include that here, I think. I'm gonna bring... Hello? Oh, I'm putting the wrong thing in. All right, let's see. I'm gonna... How did we not get this? Oh my goodness, what is this? All right, so I'm gonna do is we're gonna go down here. I want it, want it to go down. I want it to be on the ground. I'm tidying up a little bit, you guys. I'm going to tidy this place before we wrap up. And we'll go ahead though and we will make sure that we go back to our zoo, back to our work zones. We gotta add a few other things in actually though. So let's go ahead, we will edit work zone. We now have a staff room. And let's go and we'll add in 
I also want to have, I want to have a lot of facilities. I think, don't think we need a whole trade center and I don't think we need a whole quarantine and stuff because we're not going to have that many exhibits around here. But I do want to add in, if we go to facilities, if we go to, so we, that's a trade center. Keeper hut, we have the keeper hut. It's small keeper hut. Quarantine, quarantine, research center, large. This could be a good spot for a large research center, especially if go here. If I were to remove this, do we have... No, it wouldn't be enough room. Okay, never mind then. But I do want to add in... If we look at... Could we fit one? If I could put one here, maybe. But we'll have to see. We'll see if it actually lets me do that, though. It may, it may not. It, I may not be allowed to. If I go up... Nope, I'm not allowed to do that. I wonder if I could put one... Nope, I'm not allowed to do that. Never mind. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can put at least a small research center, probably. Um, maybe. All right, right. Nope. Never mind, then. All right, we'll put that back in. But we can probably put... At least we can put those here, I would imagine. Right? Right? I'm going to be proven wrong. All right, we've got that. We've got a research center, and I will put in a workshop and that's the vet surgery, which I don't think we necessarily, again, need one this close. Those you can space a little bit farther back, and it's still okay. We will put those there, though, and those are important facilities to have in this area. And eventually we'll have more, um, more stuff up top as well. So let's go ahead and go to construction. I'm so sorry, yeah, that, uh, uh, yeah, the word quarantine has become a lot more relevant than in the word in the world today than uh, any of us would have liked it to be I think and uh, yeah it's been been a heck of a time for sure uh, hello to everyone who's just joining in too we do have some new folks popping in have I had a good day don't forget to drink water I will drink water probably at the end of the stream but yeah I'm trying to remember to drink water and uh, gotta get some food afterwards too ah yes we've got this occurring well, we're not going to fix that right now. I'm not, not dealing with that at the moment. I'm just going to fix our work zone setup. So let's go ahead. You are a mechanic. I'm going to assign you the underground staff complex. We are now going to edit this. Add this. And I want to add some more staff to actually go in the complex here. So I want to make sure... Well, what staff do we have? Um, so we don't have a caretaker for this area. We probably should. We don't necessarily need an educator here yet, but we might want one eventually. Uh, let's see, so if we go to our zoo, we have a caretaker now who can be in the underground staff complex. We do not have a keeper for the underground staff complex, and I'm going to go ahead and add that. Uh, we want to make sure we assign also the, um, the otter exhibit to that. So in fact, I want to have two keepers, I think, so that they can take turns. And these ones, and we have one with no work zone, underground staff complex, and underground staff complex. For mechanics, we've got one in the underground staff complex. Security guards, we've been doing all right with that, I think. Vendors, we don't need yet. And vet, we want, we do want a vet. So let's go ahead and we will include a vet here. And I'll go ahead and make sure that the vet goes to this area. Now, I do have to tweak the work zone again a little bit, I just realized, because we want to make sure that we include the trade center, which I think, oh, we want to include this, and the trade center, that's a workshop. That's, oh, we want the vet surgery, we want to have that, and we want, this is the trade center, right? I think so. Right? What what did what did that add? No. That's a research center. That's the animal trade center. Okay. So we're gonna add that in. And uh, that should be good. What I wanna do too then is it'll be the front gate left zone. Alright, we'll clear that out. Because now if we look at our work zones, actually I wanna go back and look at them again. If we look at this, now this contains this area. So we've got that pretty well set up, I think. 
and uh, hopefully that'll be a good thing. <laughs> hopefully this will be this will be a helpful thing. We might even run a tunnel under the exhibit to link up with this bottom area here so the staff can come from this area, but we'll see. We might also have a staff area connected to here from elsewhere too. Uh, it just depends on that. But in any case, I think we've got this pretty well set up and it is about time to, uh, to, to wrap up here. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, you're currently attempting to make a hotel and lodge thing with a hippo pool at the back. It's overlooked by the deck of a restaurant. Like, two weeks in now and you're not even halfway done. Wow, that sounds like quite the undertaking. Yeah, definitely these projects can get quite large. Um, yeah, very much good luck with it. The back half of the building poking out is very, very funny. I'm probably going to try to incorporate that into the rocks or something, because we'll, we'll, we'll fix the back of this exhibit up a little bit. Um... The other day you want to talk on stream and they're like 55 people. Yeah, I think the record right now was 90 something at the original Slough Creek release. Uh, we definitely have quite a few people in some of them. Oh, look at this. This is so precious. Oh my gosh, that's cookie. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I just noticed. I'm in love. She's adorable. <laughs> oh, and there, there's, there's Bengal as well. He's hanging out. Oh my gosh. He's keeping an eye on things. Oh, that's so cute. I just now noticed what she's doing. Uh, have these guys started? Okay, not, not bonding yet. I think she is the alpha female. Is he considered to be the alpha male? He is. Okay, so hopefully they will bond at some point in the near future. Um, am I ever gonna play 2.7 again? I think it'd be fun to see play after like five years. Yes, I definitely want to play Wolf Quest 2.7 again. Uh, in fact, I may do some speed runs of Wolf Quest 2.7 here as well because I did do speed running for it a little bit. I had the world record for about two years and someone broke it, so I have to reclaim my title now. Uh, but that was turning out to be a pain in the butt to deal with for recording, so uh, maybe I will do that here on stream instead. All right, let's see. Um,. It might have been up to 120. Actually, I think we had an average of 90 people, but we had more than that in stream at one point. Thumbnail material, indeed. This probably is going to be the thumbnail. And that means Cookie will have gotten to be on thumbnail twice because she's being heckin' adorable. Um, partly burnt cinnamon roll. How do you manage to spill water on yourself? Oh no, I do that sometimes. Like, it's just, I don't know why it's so easy to just dump it on yourself when you're not, when you're not paying barely enough attention but I've definitely done that. You take your you take your focus for away for a minute and all of a sudden you're just you've dropped your water <laughs> on yourself. I have definitely done that. Um I right, you guys like the speed run. We may have to do some more of that at some point in the future. But yeah, so I think we're gonna go ahead. How do you speed okay, how do you speed run Wolf Quest? I mean the goal of a speed run is to just get through a game as fast as you possibly can. And so pretty much just that. Uh, that's pretty much what we end up doing. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much how it is. We just try to get through the first two two missions as uh, as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, the ones in the old game, that is. Uh, I haven't done any Wolf Quest three speed runs, but that could also be quite interesting. But yeah, in any case, I think we're going to go ahead and end off here because it is before and I do have to get going. Thank you guys all so much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we made some pretty good progress where I think we're getting pretty close to being done. I actually really like how this is turning out. Even if the African wild dogs aren't using the actual area we set up for them, they're, they're still being quite adorable sleeping out in the open. Uh, and I'm glad they don't feel too stressed to feel like they need to. What are guests thinking of this, by the way? For the most part of it, they seem to be enjoying it. Sometimes it's a little hard to see, which is understandable. It is a very big exhibit, but I hope if we have enough African wild dogs that they will both, uh, or eventually they'll be, they'll, they, like, they, they, there will usually at least be one within range of being seen. Uh, hopefully. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end off here for today. So thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.